Hello students. Good morning everyone. I hope you are doing good today. So as of now we have reached uh, up to lesson plan 3 and from today onwards we are going to start the next lesson plan. Okay. So of block 11. So we are going to look at the next lesson plan of block 11. Let us see which lesson plan we are on. So let me tell you this is the teaching video of grade 3 social studies block 11 lesson plan 4 so we have completed till now we have completed three lesson plan of block 4 uh, 11 and today we are going to see that lesson plan 4 hmm. so this chapter is all about occupations before we move further in the uh, class i would like to suggest you keep ready your content book your workbook volume 2 notebook pencil and eraser right so shall we move now let's move recap okay so uh, uh, before we enter in today's class we will see what we have learned in the previous class let me uh, recall the le previous learning so we were studying about the mining right uh, mining helps a miner to earn a living miner means the work the one who work in the miner so please i just i want to i want to say sorry one mistake is there a spelling of miner is wrong just correct it m i n e r should be m i n e r miner right yes so mining help a miner to earn a living right so the one who work in minor uh, mining so they uh, they were paid for their wages uh, wages right mining helps us because then we get different minerals like coal iron ore gold copper ore and that is used for different things so in mining we get different types of minerals a few of them are mentioned here coal iron ore gold copper copper ore and that is used for the different things we make different things from the mineral okay so these minerals are used to make different things such as um, like uh, body parts of planes buses cars ships machines wires and pipes uh, miners are at risk so how the miners are at risk? Those, those who work in the mine, mining or mines, so they are at risk 24 hours, right? So during mining, mineral miners breathe in harmful gases, right? So many times it releases the harmful gases in the mine. So they, they breathe in the harmful gases and then that can make them sick. They might catch fire also sometimes, okay? So, and they might get hurt if a rock breaks and hits them. So, these are the way they, they are at risk to, all the time. Next. Now we are going to move for today's lesson plan. This is the aim of today's lesson plan. Uh, I believe you will be able to explain how forest resources are an important source of livelihood for people. Right? Hmm. So this is the key word forest. Forest means a large area of land covered with trees. Hmm. Look at this is a scene, a good scenery of a forest. Wonderful scene. This is the wonderful scene. Uh, these are the herbs which are found in the forest. Uh, many variety of herbs that comes naturally found in the forest. Look at the forest food, many type of forest foods like fruits and all. It is available only in the forest. Now, let me tell, ask you, what all you do you connect with a forest? What all do you connect with a forest? How do you connect with a forest? Can you tell me? Answer in the um, comment section. Uh, let me tell you forests help people to earn living those who live near forest right 
so it provides lot of things from the forest it gives us timber timbers are mainly used for the uh, various purpose to make furniture and beds and to make houses also and the timbers and uh, rather than timbers there are a lot of forest foods, fruits which are used or sell and uh, there are a lot of uh, herbs uh, that those herbs uh, there are a lot of medicines are made uh, like ayurvedic medicines and all right so in this way the forest uh, provides lot of things for the people right so in this block in this uh, lesson so we are going to learn how uh, about how forests helps people to earn living right so i would like to suggest you uh, please uh, divide in a group hmm? after dividing in a group uh, discuss and write you have to read the first uh, your content book uh, forestry and after reading that you have to uh, discuss so and list at least what are the things that we get from the forest and how it would help people earn living you have to do it on your own right in a group you have to do hmm? make a, a group of either 3 or 4 or 2 whoever else available is in your family make a group along with them and discuss what are the thing that we get from the forest and how it help us to earn our living right your time is starts now i hope you have done it let me ask you the question what do we get from forest if you live near a forest would you be able to earn a living if it is then how tell me let me tell you okay we get woods from forests what are the things we get first thing we get woods woods from forest and wood is mainly used for the uh, furniture making uh, wooden things such as beds chairs stool tables desks boxes fences and pictures frames picture frames are uh, uh, these are the wooden things that we uh made it from the wood which we get from the forest and there are other things also we get uh, fruits like nuts berries and other fruits herbs etc we get it from the forest only and few things such as things to make mats baskets uh, all those things we get it from the forest okay uh, with a, yeah you have seen many of you have seen the uh, wooden furniture like is bamboo stick furniture so all those things we get it from the forest only right so these are the things that we get from the forest uh, let's see what else so let me tell you so we are on block 11 lesson plan 4 forestry right so we are going to look at more detail about the forest how the people earn their living from the forest So how do people living near a forest depend on forest to earn a living and second what is different about work done in a farm and in forest let me tell you people sell things that they get from forest farming gives us food like fresh vegetables fruits grains etc forest gives us woods nuts berries medicinal herbs etc farming involves growing crops and raising animals for food forest is full of variety of plants and animals right and so please keep remember this point we get wood from forest we make furniture and pro, uh, paper from the wood people living near forest earn their living from forest i'll just uh, read it again so people sell the things that they get from the forest right 
and farming gives us food like fresh vegetable fruits grains forest gives us woods nuts berries medicinal herbs right farming gives us fresh fruit and vegetable and forest gives us woods nuts berries and medicinal herbs farming involves growing crops raising animals for food forest is full of variety of plants and animals so these are the difference variation in uh, difference in farming and forest so we get food from forest we make furniture and paper from the wood that we get from the forest people living near the forest earn their living from forest next question is what will happen if there are no forest around us can you imagine about this i'll give you few minutes to imagine think what will happen if there are no forest around us i hope you have think and wrote also let me tell you so if there will be no forest around us you will think many people who live near forest they will become jobless so people who are living by selling these things uh, or forest things will not be able to earn money from that and they will not have food to eat also right so they will have to move to cities for jobs or food so one should be careful not to remove forest land as they are very important understand so we should be very careful not to remove forest land as they are very important so if there will be no forest so it will be very difficult uh, for us we will not get all those uh, things with that we get from the forest and wooden things and uh, one more the great things what will happen the people who live near the forest or who depend upon the forest they will become the jobless Hmm? right so please keep it in the, um, keep it in your mind these points many people will become jobless if there will be no forest so they may not have food to eat they will have to move to cities for the jobs and we we should be careful not to remove forest land as they are very important to us right so look at these pictures in the first picture you see the bamboo mat it is a ma made with a bamboo and and there is something honey or perfume in the uh, jar honey and fruits of melatus these are the fruits that we get from the forest another thing this is the oil something i don't know which oil so these are the these flowers you look at here so all these things we get it from the forest and the major and minor products that we get from the forest which are given here look at here many spices we get it from the forest also right and rather than spices you can see the wooden furnitures this furniture which is made with a uh, like some cane or sticks hmm? and spices fruits honey etc some more things we will look at look at it uh, it will be more clear here look at here these are the thing we get it from the forest all these things we get it from the forest timber also this is wood timber we get it from the forest so if there will be no forest we will not get all these things right so that's why the forest lead a important role in our life human life okay so uh, we have to reach to the bonus question question of the day what are the things that farming involves can you think what are the things that farming involves option will be given the link which is posted in this school year you can get it from that and choose the correct options right this is the workbook s4 you have to complete it uh, write the name of four things that we get from forest how do forest help people to earn their living and third thing 
draw a picture of one thing that we get from a forest in the box so you have to draw one picture that we get from the forest right so let's move uh, just keep it in your mind you have to read the topic again this uh, regarding forestry of block 11 and you have to complete the workbook s4 of block 11 and one more thing you have to do the practice question 4 in notebook so this you have to do it today please and write in good handwriting don't let your parents or your brother or sister anybody write in your notebook please so do not let them to write your work you have to do your work on yourself eh? that is a good practice and it will enhance your skill right so i hope you have understood well so thank you very much we will meet in the next video as of now god bless you take care